Hello there everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you all are staying safe, keeping yourselves away from Corona and also keeping yourselves busy. I know I have these projects I've been doing, I have been so much fun uh, and have made me, well made these days pass easier. I hope it's been the same for everyone out there. So everyone who's doing these, please hashtag uh, on shoot with Tapu or lockdown projects and uh, and uh, then we can share and comment on uh, the stuff which is happening. Meanwhile, today I have an insanely easy one. And uh, it's so easy that it makes me feel that maybe we're just creating a myth of photography and photography is actually so easy that anyone can do it, which is probably the truth, but we still don't want everyone to know that. Um, today I'm gonna be uh, photographing fruit or vegetable falling into water. So when you see these food shows, their titles usually have these incredible shots of, of vegetables and fruit falling into water and looking, you know, spectacular. Well, that's so easy to do that uh, today I took out my camera and I did it in the sunlight without any lights. So I'm going to ask you to do the same. If you want, uh, you can use your mobile phones. I even shot some stuff on my mobile phone, which uh, didn't have uh, any lights attached to it, neither the, neither the camera. So what you need to have is uh, two main things. Any glass dish that can contain water and usually doesn't have a lip where you can uh, obstruct the view of whatever you're throwing into it. So uh, I actually wanted uh, an aquarium, but unfortunately, I did not have one, so I did with whatever I could do, uh, which was a glass instead. Um, but if you have an aquarium, you'll get better shots than me. Uh, uh, you need an aquarium filled with water. You need to focus on a spot, drop whatever item you're dropping into that so you can get it partly submerged, partly outside the water, see the distortion which happens there. And apart from that, also photograph the air bubbles and the water splashing out and uh, get a really interesting shot. So. Get your mobile phones ready on slow-mo or else on that live thing and uh, get your cameras to shoot in high speed and let's uh, begin this thing. This is some of the stuff I shot with uh, my camera and uh, video mode and uh, you can do the same with your iPhones uh, because they shoot slow-mo and uh, get equally wonderful results. Really easy to get these type of shots. You just need a really stable camera. I'm shooting in daylight, so I don't need light sources. They're just there for a look. Uh, but uh, if you have uh, a nice back, black background in the background and uh, any glass utensil, which you're gonna keep water in and drop stuff into. Um, I couldn't find anything clear enough and uh, only had these old wine glasses, so I used them. You can use any kind of glass. You can uh, just, you can, don't even need a glass, just the glass looks better. And then all you need to do is set your camera on high speed shutter and, uh, and drop something into the water. Uh, have some kind of glass utensils with water, have your camera on high speed and danish girado. And that's it. And one of the essentials is a sturdy tripod as always. If you're using your phone then one of these contraptions does very well. A bowl or glass uh, to contain water which you're going to drop the stuff in and for sure a black background, the white ones did not work as well. I used a lemon as my item to throw inside and uh, we were sort of getting shots like these which uh, looked like we were making lemonade. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, little episode of uh, high speed photography with uh, water droplets. And uh, stay safe, wash your hands a lot. Uh, maybe we can do a video soon of that stuff happening. Meanwhile, uh, hashtag me on Shoot with Tapu and stay safe. Take care. Khuda Hafiz.